Korean War Jacket. Item number, SCP-418. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-418 is located in Non-Critical Storage Unit 4 and should only be removed by personnel of Security Clearance Level 3 or higher. Under no circumstances are personnel to wear the item, other than D-Class personnel in the course of monitored testing. Personnel wishing to conduct testing should coordinate with Dr. Lennon. Description: SCP-418 is an olive drab United States Army jacket dating to approximately 1949 with patches indicating service in the Korean War and a rank of Sergeant First Class. The item was recovered by Site-19 personnel from a car wreckage on Interstate 5, northbound, near Lincoln Village, California, USA. The driver of the vehicle was wearing the item at the time and was found to have suffered several bullet wounds to the back. Oddly, no part of the vehicle was damaged by gunfire and no witnesses reported hearing gunshots prior to the collision. The item was moved to Site-19 after initial investigations proved inconclusive. Addendum. Excerpt of message from Dr. Blank to General Blank. Clearly recall asking the team up in Sacramento to deliver the item untouched, but when the item in question arrived, all damage to the material had been repaired and any traces of blood were missing. It is my recommendation that this matter be investigated thoroughly and the proper citations given out. Test Log. Blank. 2000 blank. Experimenter, Dr. Lennon. Subject D418-1 was instructed to remove SCP-418 from its storage unit and carry it to room blank for monitored testing. SCP-418 displayed no abnormal effects during the transfer or when SCP-418-1 unfolded it and donned it. After one hour of observation, during which no effects were apparent, D-418-1 removed a small sample from one cuff of SCP-418 for observation, and was instructed to remove the jacket and prepare to return it. Upon removal of the item, D-418-1 was observed to jerk, scream, and collapse. Remote observation revealed that one had sustained three apparent bullet wounds between the scapulae, and subject responded as if this were the case. D-418-2 was sent in to investigate and remove SCP-418. No further activity was noted from the object. Autopsy revealed no bullets present in D-418-1, though injuries were consistent with gunshot wounds. Examination of SCP-418 revealed no bullet holes, and over the course of 150 minutes, the blood stains gradually disappeared, though blood transferred to the examination surface remained. One tech remarked that, looks like that thing is drinking the blood off itself, Pre- and post-test weighings are indicated upon the next experiment to determine whether this is in fact the case. Preliminary analysis of the sample removed by D-418-1 indicates no unusual materials used in its construction.